Hello, this is KBS News. I'm Brian Kloss, your local news anchor, bringing you today's weather. As people take cover to brave the cold, there are still who have struggled to get inside. We go to Miles Hanman at the scene. Thank you, Brian. I'm in downtown Aberdeen. As you can see, it is snowing like crazy. The streets are icy and the visibility is terrible. I highly advise that you stay indoors and stay safe. And now, here is Chief Meteorologist Shay Pennington with your five-day weather forecast. Thanks, Miles. Here's your forecast. Today's high will be 19 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 17. There is a possibility with this blizzard that there, we will see around 3 to 5 inches of snow. Except, expect strong winds and more snow to continue throughout the day. On Tuesday, it will be, continue to snow. As the week goes on, it will warm up a little, and the sun will start to peak out on Wednesday afternoon. On Thursday, there is a sm very small chance of precipitation, and the skies will be, will be mostly clear with little wind. Friday, it will be it'll cool down slightly with clear skies and little breeze with no precipitation. Thank you, Shay. This just came in. A school bus accident has happened at Navabine Elementary. Miles is at the scene now. Down to you, Miles. Thank you, Brian. We have a report that a Navabine Elementary bus attempted to make a turn, but it could not do so. As the bus turned, it slid across the ice and flipped onto its side. The bus had 24 kids aboard. Ten kids were injured. With me, I have the bus driver, Zabrim Larson. Now, Zabrim, tell us what happened. I wanted to get my bus dat route done swiftly, as I always do. As I slowed down, I couldn't reach the brake pedal. Someone dr had driven the bus earlier today and scooted my seat back and also raised it. As I started to drive, all seemed normal. This was my first turn of the route, and as always, I make a safe turn. At the time, I didn't yell, yet realize I couldn't reach the brake. As I slowed down on the icy road, I couldn't slow down fast enough since I couldn't reach the brake. The brake. Because I couldn't slow down, I had to turn. My turn was too sharp, and the bus slid into the ditch. This caused the bus to turn over onto its side. What were you thinking when you found out you couldn't reach the brake pedal? I was thinking I really wish I was taller, but I'm so short. I think if I wasn't so short, I could have been avoided. What did you say to the kids as the bus was turning over and as it turned over? I said, grab something and hold on when the bus was about to tip over. As soon as the bus was on its side, I told the kids, get out of the emergency exit on the bus. I also went around to see if everyone was okay, but not everyone was okay. I had... Some of the older kids help the younger kids and injured kids out of the bus first. We were trying to be careful and safe as could be. I was the last one inside after we got all the kids off the bus. I had to yell for help because I was too short to climb out. And then the kids who had helped the younger kids came and pulled me out of the bus. I told the kids to huddle up and stay warm. I also told them not to wander off, and then I called 911, and the kids were very responsible and acted in the right manner, and I feel proud of them. Thank you, Zabram. Now back to Shay at the studio with the rest of our weather. Thank you, Miles. After this current jet stream moves out, of our area, there will be a new jet stream bringing a warm front. This warm front will bring strong winds with 45 miles an hour gusts. Hopefully the warm air will melt a crust on our snow to decrease the blowing snow. 
With the east coast having a cold front, the area between the cold and warm front should expect a stationary front. New York is where the stationary front is located, and this is where the most precipitation is ha expected. We will send it back to you, Brian. Thank you, Shay. Now to switch gears off to other news, the top selling energy bar, Jackbox, has made history with over 1.3 billion orders around the world. It has become very popular in Japan, China, France, and other European countries. I'm here with Oliver Queen, CEO of Jackbox. What makes your con con what makes your product better than other companies? Well, we at Jack Bar use all natural ingredients. Ingredients to make a great and healthy energy bar. What was the spark that started your business? Well, see, some of my friends and I went to the gym and lifted. We were always tired after we were done. And we wanted to change that. We wanted something that was healthy and wasn't full of sugar or unnecessary things. So we experimented and came up with what is now as Jack Bar. Thank you, Oliver, for sharing that with us. This is Brian Kloss with KBS News. Have a good rest of your day, America.